For this tutorial, you'll need to learn how to use the blend tool and other objects within sculpture mode. These tools and objects will allow you to create clothing as well as other objects that are very important to apply to the, the clothing later, such as faces and hair, stuff like that. For this tutorial, we're just going to be talking about how to make the clothing. These are the shapes that I use to make the clothing. I use the cone, the spear, the cylinder, and possibly even the rounded cube. These should be the only tools that you need for this tutorial. Keep in mind that you could do your own methods of making clothing and um, it could probably turn out such really well. Um, for clothing, I kept in mind that clothes actually have things that, you know, I don't know what that's called, shoulder, shoulder blade arm thingies up at the top. So in order to make that, I used the cone tool and just probably just pressed it on the side, making the blend mode uh, as high as possible. Now you can mess with the blend tool modes. In order to access blend mode, all you have to do is first clip stamp shape under your sculpture and then raise your blend mode right here. And what blend mode does is pretty much makes it to where instead of it seen as its own new object, it'll actually apply the object as if it's Play-Doh, as you can see. And then you can like keep messing with it, add shading. You'll also need to know shading in order to do this. Um, I'm going to go back in time by pressing undo and kind of show you guys the process with the shapes that I've done. And we'll kind of see how I did it. As you can see there, I used the square. And then I just kind of cut things out. By pressing triangle, you can even use your tools or your shapes to cut out things. So we can see what I used to cut out. I started out with uh, the cone, so that's why it looks like that. And I cut out with the square and the cylinder in order to make the basic shape. I added a neck area just because I knew that this could be a group to a puppet. But I wanted to add a neck area just for the sake of the tutorial to make everything look finished and polished. Just for the good aesthetic look that makes it seem like, you know, it's very professional. So if we keep going back, we'll notice that there's really not that many steps to this tutorial. I was going for a nest look. We'll try anime clothes later in the future and realistic clothes later in the future. And it all started out with a cone, just like Connie or Coney. And then if we go forward in time, we can quickly see how I started making it, cutting out and applying shapes. The back part was a little bit more tricky for me, but we can kind of see what I was doing back there too. I didn't forget that the back part was equally important. I just did a major cut, as you could see, to get everything aligned, and I probably added an extra cone. We can see all the trial and error mistakes that I was doing also to get this all right. I wanted to add depth to the clothing in order to pretty much, if it was seen from the back and, um, from the sides and whatnot, I wanted to make sure it looked at least decent. I did it as quickly as possible for the tutorial, but if I would have kept adding on to it, it would probably look even better. Keep that in mind. Add patterns to your clothing. Patterns are really important for clothing, and that's what'll give it the fine finish that you probably are looking for, because even though it looks like clothing now, what you'll wanna do to finish it all up, is click on the object, go into edit sculpture, and then you'll wanna go into spray paint mode. From here, change the color so that way you can tell you're spray painting upon it. And then, pretty much, make a main color. So if you want, the, uh, want it to look red, make it red. I'm gonna make it blue just because I like the color blue. Up here, I would usually use a triangle tool, so we're gonna use the triangle tool to get the lines right with the angles. So I'm gonna switch my premise in which I'm working on. I'm not sure if I have surface snap on. Surface snap helps because it instantly directly applies everything to the surface instead of to random sides that may end up getting in the way later on. And just like that, we have 
pretty much what I had created earlier. It's a little bit not as good because I thought that I'd be able to redo everything. It's still not as clean, but for the most part, that's pretty much it. For patterns, just go to your shapes and apply patterns, different colors that make sense. I like using the square tool for patterns. What you'll want to do is change the color. I'll just make it a darker blue. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. And just like that, we have some clothing, which can be applied to a face later on and be, could become a, a character. I hope this tutorial helps on how to make basic clothing in dreams. We will do more thorough tutorials on how to make more realistic clothing and anime clothing later on. But for the most part, guys, it's pretty much knowing the blend tool, surface snap, L1 and X to uh, apply spray paint to your um, to your um, sculpture, and then learning how to group sculptures together. That way, whenever they are puppetized, they all move together. So if you need those tutorials, let me know in the comment section, and I can either link you to my videos on those tutorials, or I'm sure somebody else also has those tutorials up. But if you need help with um, more stuff within this video that I may not have covered or it wasn't covered more as thoroughly as it should be, let me know. But clothing is pretty simple. All you have to do is learn patterns and how to sculpt shapes with the blend tool and the, and the shapes that I had told you within this video, which was the cone, the square, the cylinder, and rounded cube, the rounded cube. All you have to do is learn how to blend them together and how to cut them out. And of course, I almost forgot, you may need to use the mirror tool in order to get everything perfect. By using the mirror tool to cut everything on the same sides with clothing, I didn't, I don't think I necessarily did that with clothing, but I could have. So by using the blend tool, it'll cut everything on the same sides to where if I was to need to cut something on the same side like this kind of to make it to where the arms are more present through the armholes, then I could cut that out with the mirror tool if that makes sense. So it's a mixture of cutting and uh, just knowing what shapes to use and where to blend and trial and airing it through it. I hope this tutorial helps. And again, you'll have to group the clothing with the object and then move it. You may need to animate it in order to get everything going unless you group it with a pre-made puppet. So again, ask me for the tutorials below. Tell me if you enjoyed this clothing tutorial. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys a sculpture that I made. It's actually Zeus. I don't know, it looks fairly good. I got I got that in there, so I'm kind of proud of that so far. And then we have some paintings that I learned how to do. I have painting tutorials on my channel also, so if you guys need that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe, and if you would like to join a Dreams Amino, let me know in the comment section below. If it said I was streaming at the top, pop into the stream, guys. Over there, I test out games, so if you have something you want me to test out in Dreams, let me know. I stream Hollow Knight, Undertale, Deltarune, and Dreams PS4 all in the same stream while testing everybody's creations. So thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I hope it helps, and let me know. Um, peace out, guys, and check out the other tutorials at the end of the playlist if you need more time choosing if you'd like to subscribe.